This episode is presented by Ruvi, the most real indoor cycling experience that delivers the famous cycling routes to your home. Go to ruvi.com and start your free 14-day trial. Let's talk about the upcoming World Cup race. We're going from Ireland to Italy. Ireland was a first one for us. Dublin had never been there before, but Italy, we'd had it last year, and we've been talking about snow in the U.S. National Championships. And, well, the Italian course, I'm talking about Val di Sole up in Trentino, is designed around basically a, a ski station. And there we see Walt Van, well, excuse me, we see the women's race there. Uh, Walt Van Art went on to win the men's race, and it was Fen, Fen Van Empel in the women's race last year. Uh, the race is this Saturday, December 17th. And as I mentioned, up in Trentino, land of Chardonnay, land of Pinot uh, Blanco, Tim, and of course, great apples. Um, let's talk about this course because we're talking about snow. Uh, we, I think I have a map there we can look at. Yeah, we have a little bit of a map. It doesn't do it justice because it's going to be a hilly course. It's going to be a snowy course. And quite frankly, compared to Dublin, it's going to be a much more exciting course. Where Dublin, if we can be honest, is a little bit fat, fast and uh, flat. Uh, Matthew Vanderpool, as of now, is the only major of the three stars on the start line for Saturday's race. There we see Walt Van Art celebrating last year's edition. He won't be on the the start grid for saturday's race um racing in a, on a course like this tim we've talked about the snow already in the nationals race but i mean this is a this is a uh, course divine designed for riding in the snow how do you approach this race so you know seeing this race for the first time um it's a risk you know the uci and flanders classics wanted to expand what cyclocross meant you know where it was being held dublin an example of that uh you know as a stand-in for london um Val de Soleil, when that started was you know let's let's see if we can put this winter sport in the winter and make an intentional decision to do so so I think they did a great job. I think it's it's fun to ride on different types of surfaces. Um, there was, I think there was a lot of snow last year. Uh, we'll see what the conditions are like on the day this year. But, you know, watching these riders, I, I, I think it really held up that, you know, the idea that you have to be technically skilled and, and a young Femme Van Empel beating Marianne Voss um, in that way um, was just, it was, it's such a great last lap battle and to go back and forth like that um, in a new place, you know, we need more of that. We don't want just the same muddy slog uh, where it takes just horsepower to win. Um, I think that that's boring for, for the fans who are just finding out about cyclocross. This is a little bit wild. Um, it, I think the risk is that it becomes such a different type of, of cyclocross race. But when I see images like this, this is just like Switzerland cross, you know, 30, 40 years ago, and, and that's fine. You know, let's just, um, let's keep using the DNA in our sport and bring out some new fans. Yeah, I'm happy to see it too. And I wonder if it's the distance or the snow that is keeping um, Walt Van Art and Tom Pitcock, at least for now, looking at the early start list away, because right now, as I mentioned, it's Matthew Vanderpool on the start list that uh, headlines the men's race. Tim, if you want to talk a little bit about that and maybe give us an idea of who we can look out for both in the men's and women's race. Well, I think it has to come down to uh, choosing your battles. And, and if you've got an entire road season, you've got a, a cyclocross season that needs to fit into both what you're doing with training for upcoming events in the road, uh, as well as cyclocross and, and family too. I mean, don't forget the, when you commit to being a professional athlete, you have to try and balance everything and, and, you know, making a decision to stay away from a World Cup is not easy. So I, I don't think that they took that lightly at all. It's a chance to kind of rest a little bit, maybe continue building whatever that, that training goal is. Um, and then so you can be ready to win at, at the World Championships. Um, you know, as far as who I, who I see really having a great race, I think it's Matt, uh, Michael Van Tornhout on the men's side. And I think it's going to be this 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 puck and femme battle. I, they are both so good, technically, and because that course is so hilly, I think it fits them great. Um, you know, if Marion Vash Marion Vash shows up again to uh, try and challenge, I think she's going to have her hands full. So, you know, I think it's going to be a great race. Well, make sure to make special note on your calendar because the World Cup this week end is not on Sunday but on Saturday again. 
and Val de Sole. So pour yourself a nice glass of Chardonnay and buckle up for a, what should be a great race, regardless of who's on the start grid. All the action will be live in demand on Flow Bikes.